The United Nations declared this decade the decade of restoration and it was music to my ears because Peace Box has been involved in restoration for the past 20 years. If I look at what we've achieved over those 20 years, not only have we uh, facilitated the process where countries sign treaties and commit natural resources across international borders, which really is about scale, but it, that was only the first step because subsequent to that, uh, countries realize that if you, if you don't look at the entire system and if you don't protect elephants in all the different countries, you won't protect the elephant. Peace Box has been a facilitator of that process, but Peace Box also then started working at a park management level supporting governments. And in that process, we've now reintroduced over 17,000 animals into these protected areas. And there's no better restoration effort than bringing back wildlife and bringing back animals into a landscape. It, it really is about fundamentally the health of the entire system. So looking after people in the landscape is just as important as looking after the ecosystem and the wildlife. So what stood out for me in 2022 is to understand the relevance of the work of Peace Parks Foundation even better now. Organizations like Peace Parks focusing and working on trying to have an impact at scale is really, really important and relevant because the only way that we can address climate change is by working at scale. We celebrate a, a new life in, in Zanoff uh, this year with the birth of the first rhino calf. Now Zanoff National Park seven years ago was a paper park, today it has the big five. And it's special to have uh, the birth of the first rhino calf to our estimation in, in over 40 years, and over four decades. And this uh, little youngster, her name is Princessa, and she was named by the president of Mozambique, President Nusi, just signifies hope uh, as Peace Parks and uh, as a team here, just really gives us a, a warm feeling that we are, what we're doing is actually making a difference. All of this that we do as Peace Parks Foundation, anything and everything we do, we can only do because of its people, because of the team. This concept to make these differences, to have this impact on the lives of thousands of people and the lives of animals and large level landscapes can only be done if there's a, a really, really good team behind it and people behind it. And, and so, you know, I, as CEO, I'm just really privileged and, and humbled to see the incredible team that is here in Peace Box and that actually every day gets up and I go 100%, 110% to make a difference and to make an impact and uh, the results are self-evident.